here and today I am doing a requested video so that is super exciting um, it's not very often that I get video requests so I was super excited about that and pretty much um, this video is about my samples that I have gotten from vendors um, that I have in my collection and I had a little bit of a tricky time finding them all because I kind of keep them all scattered around and put them in like bags uh, and separate them by like month that I got them or season that I'm hoping to melt them in. That type of stuff. But I think that I found all of them and I hopefully once I get my wax stash like more under control I can keep my samples in like the top shelf of my drawer or one of my little rungs of my bedroom wax organizer um, holder thingy. So yeah, I also got a request to film my how I store my candles in wax. But I'm not filming that yet because I don't have it the way I want it yet. I don't think I'll have it the way I want it until like around Christmas time. So it'll probably be like maybe around Christmas time or in the new year that I actually will finally get to filming that. But that's okay. Patience is a virtue. I'm just trying to work my way through my wax. So without any further ado, let's get into the samples. I don't have, well, I have a lot, but I probably don't have as much as other people have. So I have three from Up North Creations. This one is in the scent Wildberry Smoothie. I have one in Pink Grapefruit and another one in Bartlett Pear. And I also just want to throw out there that I really do appreciate the samples that I get from vendors. A lot of them, you know, you can try them and really gauge if you would want to purchase a scent or not. And I actually have found a few scents that I have fallen in love with that was so unexpected for me. Like, for example, um... From L3 Waxy Wonders, I tried a sample in Fresh Pick Strawberries Pink Chiffon Boom Boom. I think that's the right order. Anyways, I never would have picked out that scent on my own. But when I tried it in the sample, it was so amazing that I ended up requesting it for one of her restocks recently and purchasing it. So, you know, those samples are really, really awesome. You can really discover scents that you absolutely adore through samples and the vendors don't have to do that so it's just so nice and thoughtful of them to do it and you know as like a special extra thing for their customers okay next up we'll just go well since i was just talking about l3 this one has all l3 i think so we can go to this bag next so first off, I have two scoopable wax samples from Jennifer in the scent Cookie Therapy. And I do write the dates on mine. So one is from April 12th and one is from April 26th. That's Cookie Therapy. And then I have Pumpkin Carvings Hay Mac Apple. This one I just got recently definitely is interesting. I don't know if I would have picked that one up because of the hay note. Um, I feel like I kind of would be freaked out by that. Seaside Serendipity Vanilla Lace. And then two more scoopable wax ones from her. This one is in Blue Agave. This one is Blue Agave Coco Swimming Pool Garnier Fruit Teas. I think, is that Coco or that's something else? Anyways, that's what this one is. And I think I'm going to put this one in the bathroom. Um, I have Where the Wildlings Are. Okay. 
this one is like kind of a sweet candy type scent so I told y'all I don't have a whole bunch so um, I have two more bags worth and then we're done so let's just keep going with the L3 because I have mostly L3 in this one I have covered under the stairs I have strawberry pound cake fresh picked strawberries pink frosted cake I'm pretty sure this one probably smells amazing. Don't eat yellow snow. What does, what does this one actually smell like? Does anybody know? the notes to this scent don't eat yellow snow from l3 if you do please let me know i don't know what i think about that i can't even figure out what's what it is um smoked vanilla palo santo sandalwood this one i'm pretty sure is super masculine probably oh yeah I don't know how I'm going to like that one. Masculine scents, I generally don't really like that much. Okay, Alexander Malcolm. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at that. It's a little candy corn. And from Destination Wax, I have Coffee Peppermint Mocha. The notes are dark coffee flavored with a perfect balance of fresh peppermint and chocolate. Mm, this one smells divine. I love that. And look at how pretty this is. Oh, I guess that's upside down. But literally, look at how gorgeous. Okay, that's it for that bag. So we have just one more bag left. Okay, this is the last bag. And all of these should be from May. And I think I have two from June. So this one is the Melton Moose What's Up Doc. Oh my gosh, that's so good. A bakery scent. Then I have the Melton Moose Sleepy Hollow of this cute little skeleton. Oh my gosh. That one smells so good. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Wow. That one smells really good. Okay. I really like Jackie's Wax. I really like, actually, all the vendors that I showed y'all I really like. Um, okay, from, let's see, we can do Super Tarts and Ava's next. So from Super Tarts, I have Effie, and I also think I have a clam in this. I thought I had two samples in this scent, actually. So I think I must probably be missing some samples. I'm so sorry, y'all. And then I have SPK, which I don't know what that is for, or is that the actual name of the wax? I don't know but it smells good the reason why i'm wondering is because you know maybe she could not fit like the whole name um i think the owner's name is brandy right i think brandy probably could not fit the whole name of the wax on this is what i'm thinking so spk must be like an acronym for something um, but I don't know what it is, but it smells very good on cold. This one does. Um, and then from Ava's Country Cupboard, I have, well, this one has a sticker covering up the name of it. 
I have lemon sugared funnel cakes. Let me just smell this one too. Why not, y'all? Why not? Oh my gosh. This one smells so good. Literally. I cannot wait to use that. Um, and then orange coconut cupcakes. And I think I'm going to melt these in the fall. But, you know, even though it's like orange coconut, lemon funnel cakes, like that type of stuff, it does not bother me because I really don't mind melting things out of season. Um, the reason why mostly that I melt things in season typically is because I love doing like different themes, different projects, that type of stuff, but I'm honestly like a mood melter, so it doesn't bother me if I'm like feeling one day like I want to melt sweet tea in the middle of winter when it's like 30 degrees outside sweet iced tea with lemon and like peach and stuff I'm like girl just go for it so <laughs> I really don't I'm really not bothered by that type of stuff I know some people are so I just wanted to put that out there that it really does not bother me to do that personally um but you know whatever like whatever works for you is what you should go with you know Okay, anyways, that is it for my samples. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.